Hello once again, yes. Minister. Most welcome. What's the best thing to yes. do? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Thank you. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you too. Most welcome. Thank you very much. It's appreciate it. Made me feel welcome. Thank you. Today we discuss generally progress on the road ahead, uh, what requires to be done to complete the transition, culminating in the election in three years' time, two or three years' time. Um, we spoke about uh, the importance of uh, the international community in helping address the uh, food security needs of Sudan, but going beyond that to begin a cycle of development uh, uh, which would help South Sudan avoid the repeated cycle of humanitarian crises in making and achieving these difficult goals. Something that the UN can achieve, uh, we say in South Africa, people achieve stability and prosperity. Um, we need to address that locally, um, but also to recognize that uh, uh, the international community is here to help the Sudanese and you have to help us help you. Uh, and this, it's not constructive to attack humanitarian workers uh, if you want to retain international support. To walk with them down this difficult... We will be working in partnership with the South Sudanese people. I pointed out that we like to say in South Africa that the doctor cannot take medicine on behalf of the patient. Uh, in South Sudan, it is the South Sudanese who must walk that long road. And we are here to partner and assist, but we cannot uh, take the place of South Sudanese people. So in that regard, we'll be looking for a collaborative relationship with all our South Sudanese uh, partners and interlocutors uh, as we face the difficult challenges not only of making political progress but also dealing with the humanitarian and development challenges uh, which have to be met if one day Sudan, South Sudan is to be not only uh, stable but also not uh, dependent on the international community, can rely on its own resources uh, uh, for economic development. And so we know immediately, uh, I can see three... Today I've been exposed to quite a lot of the uh, operational side of the mission. Uh, it's been educational for me and uh, 
I can clearly see that this is a complex uh, operation in which there are many significant moving parts. And as I've said previously, I think we need to recognize that all of those different parts, no matter which are in the limelight and which aren't, are important in making a contribution to the operation of the mission. So I'm appreciative of what all our staff do in their various components. And I was fortunate and privileged then to play a part in the negotiation of the CPA, facilitating its uh, negotiation. And I regard myself as equally fortunate in being able to be here in Juba, working with the South Sudanese as they finish that long road, that long road that started uh, in Naivasha towards a stable, democratic and prosperous country. Thank you very much. Thank